Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past. In order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. I want to say thank you to one of the sisters here who sent me this video. Talking about how COVID-19 cases on the rise in the U.S. again. Thank you, sister, for sharing this to, with me. And uh, so I can actually get this out here to the nation. And um, in case you don't know my email address, because I really don't you know, actually share it enough, probably. It is tribe of Judah zero at gmail.com. Tribe of uh, tribe of Judah zero at gmail.com. You can also visit our website at bigjuda.com if you haven't seen that as well. There's a whole, whole lot of um, great resources that have been set up for you by the brethren who have, who have been uh, maintaining that website. There's a lot of great resources, books, um, and just, uh, notebooks that you can download and, and print as well. I mean, there's so much, there's a plethora of information. But this video is, uh, let's see, let me, let me give the name of the person who actually spread the video. It's from, it's from the Straits, hold on real fast, the Straits Times. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So thank you for the Straits Times, and I'm going to leave this link in the video. Because, like we've been saying, the Great Tribulation started with our new year this year. Great Tribulation started after the 20th of March. That was our new year. Two weeks from now, from then, is going to be our Passover. And um, you can tell that things are being hidden. People are not being forthwith with the information of what is really going on with the plague. Like all of a sudden, you're sitting here listening to uh, Biden today, doing his first, uh, you know, little news conference thing here, where he's actually taking some questions, and it's like they just skipped right over the plague. Like the plague is just old news, and they're talking about everything but the plague. See, they still think that they're in charge. They still think that they get to dictate and that the Most High's plague that he has sent is old news. They've defeated it. And let's move on. So we're talking about the things going on at the border, uh, gun control, uh, trying to, you know, pass infrastructure legislation. Because, you know, the plague is all done. That's old news. We got this under control. All they want to talk about is how many people are getting the vaccines. That's all that is now. That's all that this has now come down to. It's all about. It's not about how it's you know growing, how the about the variants, anything. Everything switched to, um, well, we're putting 2.5 million jabs in arms every day, so therefore that that now is all done. Still haven't seen. I want to say his name is John King, where he's always talking about. Okay, well. You know, it's increased, uh, the plague has increased this much in this many states. And, and it's, uh, you know, and, uh, and it's increased here and it's staying steady here and it's going down here. You know, that's what they're like loving to talk about. And um, they're not even bringing that up. All it is, all, it's co all coverage now about the, the plague, it's all about how many vaccines we're getting out how great the vaccines are oh look pregnant women get antibodies so much great information reuters is telling you something different and that's what this um 
video was about. Thank you again, sister, for sharing this with us. If you guys come across some more great information, send it. Let's work together to get this information out. Check out the dates of when this information had came out because it correlates with our New Year's. It's all correlating with, like I said, our New Year's. It's all correlating with um, the Great Tribulation that is hitting the other nations. This is, be on the lookout later on today for another video because there's another huge event that uh, that's going on right now that I'm sure the vast majority of the world is overlooking, but we're going to take a much deeper look. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. I said, but we're going to talk about it later on. So be if you're not getting notifications, just be looking out for a video later on this evening, okay? So let's check out a little bit of this video right here. So it doesn't jive with what we've been, what we're being told about the plague and the status of the plague here in the Americas. Remember now, they're like, oh yeah, Europe, they're all messed up because you know they didn't put, they didn't get as many uh, vaccines out. So that's why you know, yeah, we might see some, you know, some more cases, but we're not going to see the hospitalization and we're not going to see the death rates because you know we got the jabs going. Well, I'll watch another video. I know this is another woman here called Kim Iverson, and she was breaking down about how even over in Europe. Some of these um, European nations, like actually, you're, I want to say Britain, they have had actually a whole lot of, um, they're on par with the vaccinations as pr close to what we are. And Britain is still being overran by the virus. So just by how many you know vaccines you had doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to have, you know, cases and hospitalizations and death. But that's something for another time. Okay. Let's listen to this one right here. Because you're not going to hear this information anywhere else. New cases of COVID-19 are up again in a majority of U.S. states. That's according to a Reuters analysis that found COVID cases in the United States rose 5% to more than 394,000 last week. It's the first increase after declining numbers for nine weeks straight. 30 out of 50 states reported more new infections in the week ending March 21st compared with the previous seven days, up from 19 states the prior week. This okay, so see, they got stuck on 19 weeks, 17 weeks. They started talking about that, and I haven't heard anything since. Now, here, Reuters is saying it's up to 30 states with an increase. You're not hearing that anywhere. They keep on talking about how we're trying to outrun the variants. We're trying to make sure we get all these vaccines out here to outrun the variants. Well, it sounds like the variants are the ones that are already winning. If you already got 30 states, then that sounds more like it. I mean, with, with as many states have been have been opening up their societies, no mass mandates, do whatever the hell you want. You know, YOLO, spring break. This is America. We don't have to do any of that, you know, shutting down stuff. That's for you, you, uh, you, you, uh, you Europeans and everybody else. I mean, what do they expect to happen? In fact, not only are we doing so well with, you know, the, the vaccines and everything else, we're also going to say you can actually put, you know, twice as many kids in a classroom because we're doing so well. And see, you can, you can do that when, like I said, nine weeks of just great information. Nine weeks of everything is great. Nine weeks, everything is decreasing. Nine weeks is, it, it's awesome. All of a sudden, that bad info comes, they're not saying anything about it. You don't even hear many people even reporting on 30 states. I haven't heard that there's, it has risen in 30 states from anywhere else. So let's go back again, listen to a little bit here. I'm going to listen to that again, make sure it's clear. It's the first increase after declining numbers for 9% to more than 394,000 last week. It's the first increase after declining numbers for nine weeks straight. 30 out of 50 states reported more new infections in the week ending March 21st compared with the previous seven days, up from 19 states the prior week. March 21st. So this, this, is, this is actually from like what, March 21st. These, these numbers, our new year, 
jump from, you know, 19 states to 30 states. Most high, you know, showing that we, we, you know, they like to say what? Coming around the corner. We're turning the corner. Yeah, we're turning the corner, but not for good. Well, not for them. We're turning the corner, but for destruction. And you're not hearing anyone talking. You don't hear any of this stuff on these major news uh, newscasts, you know, talking about 30 states, you know, actually going up 30 states. Now it kind of makes sense as to why all of a sudden we got, what, a shooting on Monday? Turn all that, turn all that information about what's going on with the states. Put that on the back burner. So all we can do is just bring out, hey, you know, things are going great. AstraZeneca said that their, their vax was like 100%. 100%. You, you know, no one ever goes to the hospital if you take AstraZeneca vaccine. Come on now. So look at the timing. All of a sudden, there's this information about 30 states have a rise in cases. And now we're going to talk about everything else. Uh, border. What's going on at the border? Uh, gun control. Uh, yesterday, was it uh, North Korea shot off two more ballistic missiles at Japan over Japan? I didn't really see that much in the news. But as you can see, you know, that narrative that they've had is being turned upside down. So just being like ostriches and just burying their heads in the sands. And not telling people what's really going on. Because they already know that people are going to lose their minds once they realize that things are not as rosy as they're being portrayed daily. Let's listen to a little bit more. The CDC's Dr. Rochelle Walensky has warned that infections could surge again if Americans relaxed social distancing restrictions too quickly, with more infectious variants spreading across the country. Believe me, I get it. We all want to return to our everyday activities and spend time with our family, friends, and loved ones. But we must find the fortitude to hang in there for just a little bit longer. And I am worried that if we don't take the right actions now, we will have another avoidable surge, just as we are seeing in Europe right now. The Northeast logged some of the highest rates of infection per capita, led by New Jersey, New York, and Rhode Island. Deaths from COVID, however, fell 15% by about 1,100 per day. So, too, did the average number of COVID patients in hospitals, which was down by 6%, the lowest since October. Health officials hope the country's vaccination effort can prevent a rise in deaths, even if cases surge again. Okay, so that's what they put their faith in, the vaccines. The vaccine, they might, you know, they're saying, yeah, we might have people that are actually you know, catching COVID still, but we're hoping that they're not going to get sick and have to go to the hospital, or that they're going to die. That's what, that's what their hopes are. And that's, hey, that's fine. We put our faith in the Most High. We put our faith in what he says goes. We put our faith in the covenant that our forefathers have set up with the Most High. We put our faith in that the four to 500 years of our oppression are over and that he is now switching the curses from us to the other nations. That's what we put our faith in. We put our faith in our scriptures and what they say. And they say that, you know, you're going to have to pay for what was done to our people. We put our faith into Daniel 9, 11 and 12 about how our nation was the one that has, you know, suffered the most. So it's going to be a competition between the most high and your vaccines. It's going to be a competition between the most high. And if, you know, yes, the, uh, The plague starts to spread, and you guys are like, yeah, it's going to spread, but we're going to make sure, it, we're going to stop it from getting our people sick and putting them in the hospital. So that's going to, and killing them. So that's what this is all breaking down to. Is the Most High true? Is the Most High, you know, going to have power over the other nations? And we all here know the answer to that. 
And I think that their actions show you that they know the same thing. The fact that they're hiding this information. The fact that Reuters already shows a 5% increase. Uh, that was, like I said, on what, Sunday. Already shows that 30 states show a rise in new cases of the plague. And the fact that they're not reporting on that lets you know that they're, they know that they're not in control. I mean, what would it what would it matter if you actually went ahead and said, "Yeah, you know, the cases are rising, and that's and that's okay because we understand that, but we know that our vaccines are going to keep people out of the hospital and going to keep people from dying." So there's no need to hide the fact that you know the cases are rising. If you really believe in your vaccines and you really believe they're going to keep people from getting sick and going to the hospital, and you believe they're not going to you know they're going to keep people from dying. If that's what you believe then there's no need to hide the information about the cases rising. But we're all going to see who's in charge. See, this is a old, this is a story that's already played out when you got here in 1492. You guys came here, and uh, when Columbus came here with his people, I want to say in Hispaniola, they got sick, but they recovered. The Spaniards, they got sick, but they recovered. It wasn't that bad. But the illness, the plague, decimated the natives. So now, you know, that, that second round, you know, of the plague just decimated them. You know, it was, it was like everywhere that the uh, Spaniards went, like before they got there, whole villages were sick and dying. So now you just look now, you know, you guys had the first year here, everything being shut down, most high opening, giving you opportunity from March 2020 to March 2021 to, uh, you know, recognize what you've done to most high chosen, chosen people, repent, you've chosen not to. Now, March 20, 2021 starts the real, you know, three and a half, three and a half years of tribulation. The 21st, the first, now it was the first week that the cases rose after a nine week reprieve. You had nine weeks of great information. As soon as our new year, you know, started on 920, on 921, there was a huge jump in cases from 19 to 30. Do you think that that's an accident? From one week to the next, you had nine weeks of good information. But then it all switched on our new year. You knew this. You already know this. So you stopped talking about how many states that the plague is rising in. You have all these distractions. In order to keep people's attention away from that, acting as if you're done with the plague, but the plague is definitely not done with you. And there's something else that's going on right now in this first week that I'm going to be getting into shortly. So like I said, this is huge information. Absolutely huge information. A huge turn of events. They had all this great information for nine weeks. Our new year hit on the 20th, and on the 21st, it already switched. You know, their whole their whole line of thinking has already switched on the 21st. You know, they had their whole setup of how things were going. They had their whole narrative that they've been pushing for nine weeks about how great the vax are, vaccines are, and how, that you know, they've defeated, you know, the plague. And then all of a sudden, on the 21st, it already switched. This is not a coincidence. This is the Most High showing that what he's been showing his people is the truth. This is the Most High confirming what he's already given us as far as our understanding is the truth. This is the Most High said confirming that what he's given us is the truth. And thank you for the sister for finding this information and finding this here and sending it to me. I really appreciate it. The nation definitely appreciates it as well. 
So again, my uh, email is tribe of Judah zero at gmail.com. If you have more information you want to send me, that's the email. Okay. Most high is moving. And you're going to see some other great information that's going to make more confirmation later on. This is what the religions were all set up for. The religions, just like I did in the last video, talking about that book, about the illustrated hidden history. The churches were set up to be able to explain the unexplainable. The churches were set up, you know, and that's how they get their power. They take our information in order to try to use it to explain the unexplainable. But see, now these churches, they're not telling you anything about the new year, the Hebrew new year. These churches aren't telling you anything about the Most High's chosen people and their connection with the Most High. These churches aren't telling you what's going on with prophecy right now. Because they don't have that connection with the Most High. The Most High has this connection with his people. And that's why we can bring out information that the other people cannot. Because if the Most High is not dealing with you, he will expose you as being liars, as not having the information and not having the understanding. For hundreds of years, our mouths have been closed. Now the Most High is opening our eyes, opening our understanding, so that, like I said, we are going to be the light. We are not going to be. We are the light of the world. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.